Hey, it's Jess, and I'm bringing to you your resistance band leg workout today. So the way this is gonna go, I'm gonna explain and show you each of the exercises. You're going to do two to three sets of 15 repetitions of each exercise. You'll start with the first exercise, work your way through all of them, take a brief rest, grab some water, and then you'll do set two, and if you feel up to it, set number three. What you'll need for this workout is um, probably a heavier resistance band, maybe something a little bit lighter just so you have options, a mat, and um, one of your small mini bands that are gonna go around the ankles. So I will be right back with you. I'm gonna show you what all the exercises are. All right, your first exercise is gonna be a resistance band squat. Choose an appropriate band on the heavier side. You're gonna step on the band, arches of the feet, make sure you pull evenly on each side. Stand about hips width apart, hoist the bands up to the shoulders and then relax your shoulders. Chest up, shoulders back, and you are going to squat. Try to get down to at least 90 degrees, keep your chest up, and as you're standing, squeeze the butt. Tighten your glutes to get full hip extension. Resistance band side steps. Once again, you're gonna step on the band, but this time closer together, still around the arches of your feet. You're gonna crisscross the band and bring it up to your hips. You can use your thumbs to hook into the hip bone so it stays there. With straight legs, chest nice and high, you'll take four steps to the right, and then four steps back. All right, you're moving from your hips you're gonna be working the outside of the butt, keep your knees very straight, and chest up, eyes forward. Next is gonna be a resistance band deadlift. Choose the heaviest band that you have, all right? And I'm gonna show you a couple different angles. You will stand on the band, narrower stance, okay? You're going to have to choke up on the band. You won't be holding the handles, and you're gonna come up to standing. So with a soft bend in your knees, shoulders back, you're gonna tip over with a flat back, pulling your belly button into your spine and then coming up to standing. So you tip over, feel the stretch along the hamstrings and up to standing. I'm gonna turn so you can see that flat back. As you go over, tighten the butt at the top. All the way over, all the way up. What I don't want you to do is go over and round the spine. You gotta stick the butt towards the air, pull your shoulders back, chest to the floor, and then bring it up to standing. Resistance band, reverse lunges, repeating reverse lunges. You're gonna step on that band with one foot, just like the squat, band comes up to the shoulders, all right? Holding at the shoulders, take the unbanded leg back into a lunge, step forward. Step back, strike on the ball of the back foot. Do not put your heel down and about a 90 degree bend through each knee. Down and up. You will do your set amount of repetitions on the right leg, switch to the left, and then you've completed that set. The last thing we're gonna do is work with that mini band, all right, and we're gonna do bridges. So you're gonna put the band over the feet and place it above your knees. You'll lie down all the way on the floor. Your feet are about arm's length away from your heels and about hips width apart. Palms go up. You're gonna keep even tension pushing against that band. Don't let your knees fall inward and you'll slowly roll up through the spine, tighten your glutes, slowly roll down all while keeping that consistent outside pressure against that mini band. So you take it all the way up, tight butt, feel the rib cage lift, and then slowly roll down. 